Hello and welcome to the Open Mind Center's YouTube channel. My name is Jess and I am the social media manager for the Open Mind Center. So you'll be seeing me a lot as I am guiding you on your spiritual journey or healing journey or whatever journey that you're on. I'll be on this journey with you because honestly, I didn't tell you guys in the last video, but I am very much new to spirituality myself. So as you guys are learning, I'm learning as well through the Open Mind Center, which I kind of told you guys is a place where we offer products, services, um, in classes that helps guide you through your spiritual journeys or whatever journey that you're on. We're very open-minded to different journeys. We are the place that can help you with all of that. Just to live your best life and become the best version of yourself, the best you. So one of the first few things that I learned when I started my spiritual journey was I was talking to actually the owner of the Open Mind Center. She told me that, which is kind of funny because I feel like this is kind of like an obvious thing, but I never thought of it this way, that we are all energetic beings. We are all energy. Energy means so, so much. Like we can be easily affected by other people's energies, um, which throws us off of our energy and it's just important to protect your energy. Through life, a lot of things can really affect our energy. A lot of experiences or stresses in life or you know the ups and downs and just the different things that we go through can really affect our energy and that's where energy healing comes in, which is an amazing practice, I guess you would call it, that helps to literally do what it says and that's to heal our energy so energy healing is really good to kind of uncover the missing piece of a puzzle so say you're experiencing anxiety and you don't really know why or where that's coming from if you get energy healing that can help you uncover that feeling of anxiousness in your chest or in your head or that pain in the back of your head why it's there what it could be and also heal that it also releases energetic blockages things going on in the subconscious mind and it also helps to heal long-term issues so what Charmaine, Charmaine is the owner of the Open Mind Center, so we, I should probably get used to saying her name so you guys can get to know her as well. Um, but she told me to think of energy healing as an umbrella, an umbrella of various modalities, such as Reiki, Mudra, and also just like energy healing and that's like all the energy healings combined if that makes sense we're gonna go into what reiki is and mudra and we're gonna get more deep into it but overall the healing is we're just gonna talk about the energy healing overall the umbrella and then we'll get under the umbrella <laughs> so the energy healers or what you will hear me call the practitioners are people who are gifted with natural healing abilities. So those people were naturally born with those healing abilities and or some people take classes on how to energy heal. So the purpose of energy healing is to bring about healing, balancing, and cleansing on the emotional, mental, physical, spiritual, and energetic levels. And energy healing is done in all different techniques some people like may touch you on like your your head or your collarbone um, or some people just hover and that's where you see a lot of Reiki people just like hovering so that's pretty much like a kind of basic beginner definition kind of intro to energy healing that I've learned so far and that I can explain to the best of my ability because I'm still learning with you guys so I thought it would be even more useful for us to ask a professional <laughs> uh, energy healer themselves <laughs> um, one of our practitioners named Vanessa volunteered for me to ask her a few questions more questions about energy healing as well as talking about the energy healing that she does and she offers here. So let's go talk to her. How would you describe energy healing to a beginner like me? Um, energy healing is what it sounds like. It's the healing of your energy and the method by which we heal your energy is different depending on which healer that you go to. 
So for me, when I heal people's energy, I take the negative energy off of their bodies and I remove blocks while in channel. That's the way that I clear people's energy. That's energy healing. How does it make you feel? Like So usually when people request energy healing, they come in here and they're feeling heavy and they're feeling drained or they're feeling stuck kind of all over. They just don't feel good. Mm -hmm. And so when you come in and we remove all the energy off of your body, the negative energy, the heavy stuff, mm -hmm. all the blocks, hardened thoughts from childhood sometimes, or just um, how we've been socially constructed if that isn't in alignment with what we want to do. Anything that you're carrying, you'll bring that in here and we will remove it during the session. And after you're done, you should feel lighter, freer, brighter, more ready and confident to um, be back in your life feeling good. Usually when people get off of the table, they look brighter in their faces and they leave with smiles and they just feel better. So that's what we hope happens after an energy clearing and some people need more than one. Mm -hmm. Sometimes one, you'll feel a little better, but maybe not as bright as you could feel because you released all that you could that day. Mm -hmm. And so that's enough for you and maybe you'll come back and then we'll get the rest of it. But usually within one session, people mm -hmm. feel much better. They can really tell the difference. How do you start? <laughs> Where do you start? Where do you... So like... that would depend on what issues you come in with. So if you are feeling all over just not good and you're really ready for like a deep healing, energy healing is a good place to start just to get rid of everything. Mm -hmm. If you come in and you're like, oh, I've been like really worried all the time or I'm feeling anxious or my heart feels heavy or I just can't seem to see clearly or I can't express, I'm really pointing to all of my energy centers and another word for energy centers is chakra. Mm -hmm. And so you would be somebody that would need sh um, chakra balancing because you have very specific things. It's not an all over thing. It's like it's very specific located somewhere in a chakra and then you would come in and then we would balance those mm -hmm. and the methods we use to balance are different mm -hmm. i balance with um pendulums and tuning forks because i like sound i think sound is really effective in healing those chakras that is very different from the energy healing it's very hands-off experience right i'm just using the tools mm -hmm. and scanning and helping everything to be balanced to make sure the chakras are spinning in the right direction and that they're not blocked or closed. We open them so that you can feel free and open and release whatever you need to release from those chakras. And in energy healing, it is a little bit more um, hands-on in that we'll, like in my sessions, we'll sweep the body, I'll take out blocks, and I'll do that above the body. But there are points of body that I will touch, like I'll touch your shoulder and your collarbone as I'm like um, balancing male and female energy. You'll feel me cradle the back of your head as I pass through positive, good, loving energy through your spine to get rid of those blocks further. Mm -hmm. Or you'll feel me touch your feet to ground your feet. Mm -hmm. That's all the touching that happens, but in the chakra balancing, all I do is ground your feet. Everything else, an instrument is used to balance the chakras. Mm -hmm. So they're very different um, healings, depending on what your issues are. So if I wanted to, I just schedule how do I, do I call? You can call the Open Mind Center and schedule. You'd say, I want an energy healing, and you'd say how much time you want to spend, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or an hour. Or I want chakra balancing, um, depending on what your issues are. Mm -hmm. and, or you can um, book it yourself online. You can just look and see which healer you want to work with. All of our bios are up there, and what you want, what we offer, and book it, and then come in, and we'll take care of you. So hopefully now you know a little bit more and you understand a little bit more of what energy healing is. Definitely if you have any questions or anything you want me to um, go over or want me to ask our practitioners about, let me know in the comments down below. And we can do like a, a question and answer video or I can do a whole video dedicated to anything you guys want to know. But as usual i will leave all of the information to scheduling an appointment with vanessa or any of our other practitioners we are located in the roswell area of roswell georgia um, but if you do not live anywhere near there that's okay a lot of our practitioners also do virtual energy healing and readings and all of that we also have an online shop that you can get crystals and all of the metaphysical tools um, that you need. I hope you guys are able to learn more about energy healing and um, I will see you in the next video.